Hey everyone, this is Christian, the uh, Technician Online, and just wanted to thank you for taking the time to view this video. Um, we're going to cover what Winbolt is, the uh, different settings and options that we have for Winbolt, and of course, uh, to get started on this video, I'd like to give some brief overview of myself as the uh, developer for Winbolt. As of now, we have version 3.0, uh, currently the latest and the greatest. Um, so, about me, I'm an IT enthusiast. Um, I love IT. I love everything about you know, electronics, systems, operating systems, programming, uh, virtualization, just about anything you can think of, I'm doing it <laughs> for fun on my spare time. And of course, professionally, um, you know, as a career choice. But um, I'm also an active member of Bleeping Computer. Um, great community. If anybody has the time, check out the forums. Uh, very active community in the malware removal area. It's it's phenomenal, as well as at Geeks to Go. But um, the application itself, you can always get the latest and greatest version from SourceForge. I will always use them as a sole um, distributor distributor of the program. Um, so you can always come to this website, sourceforge.net forward slash projects forward slash Winbolt, uh, W-I-N-B-O-L-T. And uh, just come here, make sure you download from here. When you click on this, um, the download should execute and you should have the latest version. So um, here's Winbolt on the desktop. Once you download it, this is what you should have. You can go ahead and double click on it and uh, run the application. If not, right click, run as the administrator. If you run into problems, uh, Winbolt does require local admin rights on the computer. But um, you know, considering there's going to be a home computer and you're the owner of it, um, you shouldn't have any problems running into stuff like that. So once you execute Winbolt, it will take about 5 to 10 seconds to load. Um, it's quite a big application, as you can tell from the download. It's just above 300 megs. I'm hoping to drop that down maybe to like 50, um, but that's, you know, in the future. So once you run Winbolt, you get the nice logo. Uh, you get the terms of stated. Make sure you agree to the terms of service. Of course, this application, just like anything else, comes as is with no warranty. Um, this will do maintenance on the system. And um, just about anything recommended from a tech, this will do. Uh, this covers basic generic maintenance itself. It does give you some more advanced options, but we'll touch up on that later. Um, option one through six. Normally, when I you know offer somebody to run uh, this program, I always suggest option six. It's pretty much do all, set all. You set it, and then you forget about it uh, for the next you know two to six hours, really depending on your computer how big the hard drive is, how much data you have on your computer, um, as well as the malware found on the computer. Stuff like that will drastically change the, the completion time for the for option six. Option six, as you can tell, says all of the above, full-blown system maintenance. Um, it, run, it will run through option one through five. So I'll kind of touch upon these. Um, option one installs Chocolatey uh, Framework. It's a very good package manager for Windows. Um, Windows 10 will be coming with the package manager itself, OneGit. So, um, you know, this is kind of moving towards where we want Windows to be. Um, WinBolt does run off Chocolatey. Uh, so, it installs uh, Chocolatey Framework. Option two, it runs a uh, Windows update. So, system updates will be ran in the background. Uh, you don't have to go and, and do things manually anymore. Uh, this will run all of the Windows updates, accept them, install them on the system in the background without the need of you. Uh, to do any input whatsoever. Same thing with Chocolatey. It's going to do an update of the cho Chocolatey framework itself, as well as any packages installed through Chocolatey. Um, option three enables the maintenance script. So there is a built-in maintenance script in Winbolt that will run on the 1st and on the 16th of every month at 10 p.m. This is going to run on the background silently. Uh, there's going to be no pop-up. There's no need for user input whatsoever. It's just a set and forget about it. Um, you know, moving forward every month, your computer is going to be taken care of. Of course, this is general maintenance, nothing too advanced. You know, if you have specific problems, Winbolt is not going to take care of it. This is just, again, solely maintenance, um, you know, in the safe zone, not crossing any any boundaries where, you know, you can raise eyebrows and, and certain systems will break, certain systems it will work on. This is just general maintenance, you know, uh, that won't affect your computer whatsoever, um, if anything, benefit. Now, Option four, it deletes all the temp files. Um, it also installs and runs a custom script of uh, Chocolatey. Uh, sorry, uh, CC Cleaner. <laughs> Got ahead of myself. So it installs and, and runs a custom script of CC Cleaner. 
pretty much does everything except delete your cookies and of course doesn't touch any of the advanced any of the advanced settings that uh, CC Cleaner has like um, registry entries that will you know try to fix itself that does not run just solely uh, CC Cleaner uh, temp files now EEK will update it's going to scan the computer and then remove any malware. EEK is MCSoft's emergency kit, their command line scanner. Very powerful. I definitely suggest um, you know, buying a copy of, of MCSoft's Internet Security Suite. Very good product. Um, I, I really trust their stuff. And uh, again, this is home computer use, so any commercial use is prohibited. Um, option 5, defrag the actual hard drive. Does a system file check and, of course, does a file system check. Once it's finished, it's going to prompt the user to reboot. If no um, no input is used on the computer, no input is done on the computer to cancel the reboot, it's going to force a reboot after 10 minutes. So if you're running, if you're if you're using the computer, if you're you know editing a document or anything, it's not going to just shut down and, and lose your progress. You're going to have that 10 minute uh, grace period that it will pop up saying, "Hey, I'm ready to reboot. Are you good to go?" Um, and if you don't touch it for 10 minutes, it's going to force a reboot. But if you do, you cancel it, uh, it's not going to reboot, and you just make sure you do it on your own time. Um, of course, option six, we touched upon that. It's going to do option one through six. Um, so that, that that's overall Winbolt itself for the generic maintenance. We have more options here. So if you go to, uh, we have Winbolt here, you do N for next. And then we have option seven through nine. 7 gives you the option to install custom applications on the go. So if you know you're on your home computer and you need to set up a few things or you just bought a new computer, you want to set it up uh, with, you know, certain applications that you run to every that you run with every day. Um, this is pretty much my custom list that I've that I've that I personally use for, you know, home administration and of course, you know, certain things like iTunes that uh, the average user, you know, has on their computer. So let me pull up this list here. I'm just going to have to move the window. So I have 40 um, applications that you can install here, 1 through 40. I'm not going to cover them all, but um, this is the option 7. So we'll do X for exiting out, N for next, and then option 8. You get the hardware information of the system. Um, this is a very detailed report. Uh, it does give you the actual serial and, of course, the model number of, of the hardware on the computer, the CPU, the RAM, uh, the hard drive. It does a smart check on the hard drive, and um, it's it's pretty thorough. That way you don't have to actually open up the computer to see the component uh, information. Um, usually, they, they, you know, you'll know you be able to tell what kind of computer you have by looking up the model. Uh, sometimes you want specifications, you know, serial tech, um, the actual... Uh, what's it called, the firmware on your video card or whatever, this will be able to pull it up. And then we have option 9. So option 9 is a special tools in action. This is going towards more of the advanced area of uh, Winbolt as a utility. Um, so option 10 through 17, um, and then option 100, which is the famous ThunderScan. Uh, ThunderScan is going to use all of the antivirus engines all at once. It doesn't do it... Um, all at once, it does one consecutively. Once it finishes, it runs the other engine. Once it finishes, it runs the other, etc. Um, so option 10 renames the computer host name. This is going to be the NetBIOS name. Um, if you ever do want to rename your computer on the fly, you can do it. Option 11 does a local backup of the user account. Remember, this is just a user account that you're on, that you're logged in with, the active session account. Um, it's not going to be the entire computer. So if you're looking you know, to back up all your stuff, you'll be able to do it with option 11. You can select the destination and it's going to copy and, and uh, correctly copy and move over the files there to your destination so you can plug in an external hard drive move over your files um, option 12 extract windows serial key um, exactly how it sounds it's going to pull the key off of the windows operating system if you're running windows 7 you're going to ref um, you're going to reflash your, your operating system uh, re-image I mean uh, then you'll be able to get the key off and then you know apply it again once you install the operating system um, option 13, fix printing issues. So if you have any problems at home uh, with your printer, this will go ahead and clear that up by clearing all the spools that are pending. Uh, this is a great, a great, great option for any problems with printers. Usually this resolves it 99% of the time, <laughs> not including uh, drivers. But um, option 14 is the Sophos uh, antivirus engine. And option 15 is the Viper antivirus engine option 16 is the malware bytes antivirus engine and number uh, 17 is the mcsoft 
mal um, antivirus engine. Of course, this is going to update, make sure it has the latest uh, virus definitions. It's going to fully scan the system, the entire C drive, um, and then it's going to remove any malware found. So you have the option to do, you know, just one at a time, or you can do a thunder scan option 100, and it does everything, and it's going to take its sweet time between easily, easily about two hours to to uh, six hours. So just letting you know right there, that's going to take quite a bit. It also depends on your internet speed. Remember, this is um, definitions being downloaded from the internet, so it could take quite a bit longer uh, if you have if you have a slow internet connection. So just want to point that out. And again, uh, you have I, R, and X, as you can see below. Um, R is to return. Um, yeah, here we go. R is to return. X is to exit of Wimble. I is for information. Um, so here's just some info on uh, Wimble itself. Of course, is just reiterating the information I gave in the beginning um, as a developer of Wimble. And um, we can go ahead and close out of this. You uh, know, we can exit Wimble here. X for exit, or just close it off. Um, so just kind of uh, reviewing this again, Winbolt is going to be a maintenance automa automation uh, application. And basically, you know, the idea of this is uh, why do perpetual manual labor of, of Windows maintenance? You know, it's something very common that everybody runs into. It's the number one thing you should be doing once or twice a month. Um, I just kind of got hassled by it. You know, why do it manually? So I decided to automate it. And that's the whole idea of Winbolt um, to do to be an automation tool. And of course, a, a utility as well that you can rely on that if you need that extra push or that extra help, um, it does provide that as a, as a utility. But um, again, you know, thank you very much for your time. Um, and I do appreciate you uh, <laughs> reviewing this video. Go ahead and uh, try out Winbolt and uh, provide some feedback. Thanks and uh, take care. Goodbye.